Okay guys, uh, it's been freaking cold as all get out around here lately. We got uh, kind of blizzard conditions up here. Just finally was able to clear off the driveway and move the 240 and get the Trans Am running and kind of get everything off the driveway and get it get it scooped off. So now we're gonna go ahead and bring in the GTI. You guys have been asking for some more videos uh, on the GTI. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Got some new headlights for it. So here we go. So those are so disgusting. Uh, not only are they dirty because they're it's been snowy out there, but they are hazed and crazed. And the real problem with them is that they don't uh, cast any more light really than daytime running lights. So uh, and then when you go from low beam to high beam, uh, there's no further illumination out on the road. It just shines them up to the trees. Holy crap, it is cold as shit in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get these doors shut and get her going. Right, so just got the headlights today in the, uh, from uh, like I said, bought them off eBay, just got them today from FedEx. And uh, wow, this guy packed them better than I've ever seen anything packed before. I wish that my STI headlight had been packed that good so that that inner tab hadn't have been broken off. But uh, anyway, they came in perfect condition. They're universal in about 15 different types of, uh, of variants of this car. So we're gonna get in here with our Torx head and start taking off these uh, pieces here so we can get to the headlight. There's one connector underneath here. There's one uh, up top. And then there's another back in here. So three connections total. If I make shift headlight holder, you worked well, you served your purpose well. One of the things we did here to get us by on this was that with this back tab in here, I'll show you, you can see it uh, right here. I think you can under this screw. That piece of plastic in there is broken. That's the tab that holds the, the light level essentially. And with that being broken, we had fabricated this plumber's tape around the back end, which served its purpose well, stayed hidden under the under the hood when it was shut, but certainly a ghetto solution. All right, so the four screws up top here for uh, T30s, and now we're going with a, a T25 here to get these two outer ones. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and remove these screws. There's one here and one here. I got a 20 right now, let's see. They look like a 20, yep. So T20 to remove these. Like a T30 again, it looks like. So I'm already see the one. I'm already get to the one for the headlight there. Um, for the other one that's back here, uh, we're probably gonna have to pull this loose and give us some room to get in there a little bit. T25. So between the sub-zero <laughs> tools and, and the snow. And the snow. It's freaking cold. I think I got maybe one more right there. There we go. Look, that is frosted. <laughs> Just be careful. 
careful right here. You don't want to, even though this is the top part, I don't want to scratch it up. Okay, so now it looks like there's a little tab top and bottom here. Uh, we'll give it a try in there. Or maybe they pop out. Which way does that go? Okay, so one issue I'm having here is with the connector um, right here. I'm, I'm having trouble because this the connector's on the top and the bottom. Uh, and when I looked at the replacement lights, that is correct with, with how that's set up, but um, trying to figure out how to disengage that to pull that out. I feel a little flex there, but I'm not sure it's going the right way. Um, the other ones all show it on the side, really easy to get to. You just pry it back and, and you can pull it off, but I can't find, I've been looking for any references to that um, with it on the top and bottom. And other than conversion kits, which show some of that, uh, I can't seem to find it. So we're going to try to, I'm just going to try to see if I can pinch those and pull. And it doesn't seem to be working. So I think I'm going to try to see if I can pull the light out and get a little bit of room like that. So see, those are both broke off now, so that does, and it's still hanging on. <laughs> I do not know how to get that one to let go. Why are you letting me down interweb? How come there's nothing telling me how to pull you off of there? I don't want to totally destroy the plug, but it is not coming off. And I have snapped the inner part of both the top and bottom of that one off. So what we did here was, um, I'll be able to show you this better here in a minute, but here's the tab. So the ones online that I keep seeing are all on the side. I only found one instance where it was on the top like this and it just said, remove the clip. Didn't really give much explanation. But uh, what we did was we pushed in on the clip to relieve some of the pressure on these and then squeezed this top and bottom and then pulled, pulled it off. Very difficult to do. Um, very hard to get leverage on it, uh, but it did in fact end up coming off. Now the problem is on the other side, the back end of those are already snapped on both sides. So but on this side at least, we should be about ready to rock and roll. Okay, so here's the, uh, the replacement one. Looks fantastic. Supposedly they have about 4,000 miles on them, um, but no hazing or crazing or, or any nicks to speak of. The other one has just a little bit of a scratch on it, but uh, these look pretty fantastic. Has the same little connector top and bottom as the other one that we just pulled off as opposed to the side. So we know we got a, a fit. So let's get this thing foot in. Connector here should go much easier going back in. Listen for there's one. Maybe that's all we're gonna get is one click. But uh, so that's on there secure now. So now we just reverse how we took all this stuff off. Start with the two bottom ones. This this top tab here is so flimsy. Right there. Um, that's gonna be the last one I put in. nice yellow clear right side's good now we're gonna move around to the left side oh yeah you're cranking it good now keep going those are some cool effects on the wheels there there you go that's a lot better Cool salt effects on the wheels. Very artsy. But this here is the way that we're taking the uh, bumper off here. 
Uh, a lot of the videos, actually different videos I've seen, but some of them I've seen people range from uh, plucking out this plastic piece in the front to removing like the whole bumper. Um, so far, I, I like this one best. I don't really want to dig in here and try to pull this off and end up marring up the paint. Um, just taking off the, whatever it was, about four, five, or six bolts um, to be able to get a little bit of space on that seems to be the best option. The one right here furthest outboard where the where the uh, front bumper cover connects to some of that inner fender well plastic. So one there and then one back here a little further out towards the wheel well. And so with those six out, you can see that pops off, gives you plenty of room to work. So I'm going to try to see if I can get whatever little pieces of that clip remain in there to raise up or break off. There we go. There we go. And there's the bottom piece. <laughs> nice design. Germans, thank you. Huge difference. So, and this one just has a minor, minor little scuff or scratch right there in front of the, the lens that the seller told me about. So, no issues there. The way these latch in, I think they're, there's gonna be, hopefully, a little something that still, I don't think you'll hear the click, but, if, I'll give you an idea here of how solid it feels once we get it going. Okay, it's just, it's such a good seal from the waterproofing that it really is secure in there. Last two bolts in under here, and uh, we'll be good to go. They're still in place. Some screws. And just some tabs. That this looks like it sets down. I'm to start high and then set it down on there like that until it comes down flush. Last one. All right, give it the moment of truth. And then the inner ones are what? There you go. And let's get some, oh yeah, nice. Yep. Okay. So I will say the, the one thing about this, uh, as you're aware, that, that was the most difficult thing that, uh, that we had to deal with was that connector. Um, uh, not sure why there were two different connectors uh, like that for, for these applications, but clearly um, this one was the bigger pain in the butt. The other one would have been easy to get to from the side. This one was not. Hopefully now you've seen uh, now that you just got to fight it and be able to get in there and pinch really tight and, and pull the top and bottom off at the same time. Uh, I'm not concerned about the other one coming out because it's got such a good tight seal that I think it's going to stay in there fine. Um, but uh, that is a pain. You'd prefer not to have any of that stuff snap off. Um, not sure why there wasn't much of that out there on the internet. I know that you guys that have said you like our videos like it because there's not a whole lot out there on the GTI, the Mark V at least. Um, so for all you 08 GTI Mark V drivers and lovers, here you go. A little something to help you out when you do your headlights. These babies were... Um, about 550 bucks on eBay, um, and it's going to make a world of difference. It, it makes a world of difference in how it looks, partially because the car is so freaking dirty right now that the headlights look immaculate, but it's going to look good even when it's clean too. So, all right, thanks a lot for tuning in. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. That's it for Fearless Mods. See you.